This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Computer Science 2, the Python version. I'm on level 9, Village Guard. Goals. Stop all the ogres. Save the peasants. Patrol the village's entry points. And use an if statement to check for enemies. Awesome. Alright, so if statement. Yep, we're going to check for enemies. Got it. Patrol the village entrances. Okay, so everything in our wall true loop repeats forever. Comments are for us. The code, that code is skipped over when we hit run. The computer ignores it. All right, I want to see what this does so far. I'm going to hit run. Okay, so we walk there. We attack. Well, then what's the find nearest enemy? I don't see anyone. Oh, I see you. Good. Oh, oh, that was not good. Okay, I'm going to pause it there. All right, so we want to make sure if left enemy... Right. So what this statement here does is we make this variable left enemy. Well, first we move to the left, I assume. 35. Yep. So this right here moves us to the left. This says variable left enemy. And then we say, hey, hero, look around and find the nearest enemy. So our hero will look around here. If the hero finds an enemy, the, the enemy is then named left enemy, right? If there is no enemy, if my hero here looks around and sees no one, then left enemy just equals nothing. This variable left enemy would be set to nothing. And that's why we have an if statement. Because if the hero finds no enemy, we're going to get an error. Because the computer says, attack, attack what? There's no enemy. So that's why we say if left enemy, and this code is used, what the computer is doing here is we're asking the computer if left enemy actually equals an enemy. So does this variable equal an enemy, or does left enemy equal nothing, because our hero looked around and saw nothing? So if left enemy, and then this stuff under it runs. So if the computer comes back and says, true, this equals an enemy, then it will run hero attack left enemy, hero attack right left enemy. If it's false, if the, it comes back and it says, no, enemy doesn't left enemy equals nothing, the computer is going to skip below it and run the code below it. So now move to the right entrance. All right, let's do that. That looks to be 6031, I think. So move, whoops, move x, y, and I'm thinking 6031. Use find nearest enemy, okay. And then instead of it, I'm gonna use, they named theirs left, I could use enemy, but I'm gonna name mine right enemy, okay. So now we created our variable. And make sure it's in the wall statement, right? So we created our variable, right enemy. My hero is going to look around over here. And if my hero sees someone, they, that enemy is going to get named right enemy. Now, if, let's check. If right enemy is equal to something. Okay, so if right enemy, what's this? If right enemy, we want to attack, and then attack, and we want to attack right enemy, attack, oh, right, yikes, right enemy. So that should be, and notice, it's pretty much the same as this code above. We move to the point, we look around, we check. And then this will check if there's a right enemy. If so, we attack. If not, it hits the bottom of the loop, goes back to the top, and runs this code again. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and click Submit to see how I did. Oh, awesome. So here was that code that worked for me. Great, let's keep going. 